Hi guys, this is Epic Glowstone, and today I'm going to show you how to do the ninja part of the Ancient Cultures Japan quest. So, the first thing we need to go is... Yeah, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Japan. So, we're going to be looking to get this shadow katana over here in this case. That's the purpose of this mission. And, in case you want to know what the shadow katana does, does we can look over here and it's a 111 collect all tool so it's not very good and you'll have the ability to trade it in for this red book over here which you can get the red book to get you this warrior however you pronounce that which is a 222 collect all tool which is a little bit better now you can cash in the shadow katana at this chest and the samurai uh, weapon at this chest but the first thing I'd recommend doing is getting a book and starting the quest so the very first thing this quest asks you to do is it asks you to open up your inventory Equip the book as normal for these quests, as is normal, I should say. And what you're going to do is you're going to go and get a lay of the land. So what you've got to do is you've got to equip your book and click on the scroll. Now these scrolls are scattered throughout the land, and you'll have to go and get all of them. So I'm going to speed this part of the video up, but I'm still going to talk. Starting now. Okay, now I sound a little bit like a chipmunk. I, I, I don't know. This is new for me too. But it's going to be a lot less boring walking around to each of the scrolls that lay on the ground. I don't know if they're scrolls or if they're maps, but I do know that chipmunk me likes clicking on scrolls, maps, whatever you want to call them. So you've got to get each of these scroll maps so that you get a lay of the land. And so you'll notice the first one was over there in the rock garden. The second one was way over there at that gate. Then the third one is going to be right over here. And this is Ninja Journal C. So if you want to keep track, Ninja Journal B was over there at the gate. Ninja Journal A was in the rock garden. Ninja Journal D, which is what we currently have. Ninja Journal D is right here. Then Ninja Journal E, you have to climb up this pathway over here. And we're just climbing and climbing because chipmunks like to climb. I don't know why I have to keep making reference to the fact that my voice sounds like a chipmunk. But I gotta keep it in mind, I guess, so that I don't forget. Because my voice doesn't sound like a chipmunk normally, believe it or not. So for Journal E, we have to go to the observatory. Uh, I almost fell off. So we're gonna pass right through this little chape. And we're going to climb up here, the observatory, and we're going to cash it in right here. Okay, now Ninja Journal F. Ninja Journal F, we actually passed on the way to Ninja Journal E. It was at the well at the top. So, again, this is Ninja Journal F. And we're going to go cash this in for Ninja Journal whatever comes after F in the alphabet. So I don't know my alphabet. G. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, let's go get this one. Now let's take G, and if I'm not mistaken, G is located up this path again, but it's a little higher up on the mountain. It's located at somebody's home. So we're going to go and get that. I wish this footage could be sped up faster, but then I wouldn't sound like a chipmunk. I'd just sound like a blur. Or I could just have sped this up, but then you wouldn't get to hear the chipmunk noise. I could have sped this up uh, more but and just not have said anything, but that wouldn't be fun. So we're going to get this one right here. And then for this last one, which is I, I believe, no, it's H. We have to come over here by this statue, by the waterfall, and we should find the last one here. Okay, so we've got one more thing to do. It says we've been acquainted with the land, but we noticed that there was a place near the Cascading Falls that was producing a foul smell. So we're going to go over to these geysers which I think this foul smell is indeed sulfur. 
that is being released by the Stizer. And we're going to double click on that, and we're going to get book two. Now what we've got to do, since we've got the lay of the land, and we've noticed something strange about it, we've got to go to the village alchemist to get it checked out. Now, we should still be in chipmunk mode, but chipmunk mode is unfortunately going to stop pretty soon when I start doing the lily pads. Is it just me, or is it weird? I don't know if you can hear the music. I don't know if the game audio is being recorded. It should be, but it's kind of weird how that music keeps cutting in and out. Anyway, chipmunk mode. Bye. Hey guys, it's Epic Glowstone. I'm just kidding. I didn't even cut the recording there. It's going to be a post-edit modification. But... If you could do the jumps a little bit better than me, that'd be great. Well, let's see. So, let's just do these easy jumps across the lily pads. And let's not miss the last jump. And I'm taking a performance hit. So, just jump up here. And I should mention, if you get stuck in this hole... Just jump a few times and you'll get out. And anyway, let's go into here. And you'll see that we've got a lot of jumping to do. A lot of timed jumps. Jumpings, jumpings? Jumps that are on a timer. So let's see if I can do this without failing. And I can't. But let's see if I can do it without failing too many times in a row. Because then, if I fail too many times in a row, I might choose to speed this up to chipmunk footage. Chipmunk mode voice. So let's just see. So you gotta have your time down. Which, I count to three. Like, one, two, three, jump. Jump, one, two, three, jump. Now I'm jumping as I'm saying jump. Okay, so let me just get up here real quick. One thing I did there was I jumped onto that platform, and then from that platform, I jumped onto that one, so I'd have to do one of those less timed jumps. Jumps that you have to time yourself in your head or out loud. Um, so I jumped from there to there, and then I waited for the platform to show up before I went. Anyway, we've got another part of those timed jumps to do over there. So, how we get there is we climb up on the... You can tell this is a live recording, because that scared me. So what you're going to do is you're going to walk off the edge of this onto that down there, and then you're going to face this way and walk forward. Okay, so what you got to do is walk off, then walk forward. Walk off, turn around, and then walk forward. And that should make it so that you land on this platform. Don't jump off of there, because if you jump off, you'll miss it. And if you hit this, you'll slide and then you'll land about here, and you'll slide off. It'll be annoying. And then you'll have to do that part all over again. So just walk off, and then turn, and then walk again. And that's the best advice that I can give for that, I believe. So now we're just going to do something very similar to the first part of this quest that we did. And we're going to walk around here. And then we got more time jumps. Okay, it's hard to it's hard to commentate and do these time jumps at the same time. I guess I could just time the jumps out loud, but that would get annoying pretty fast. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump on this one, and at the very edge of the platform, we're going to jump to the next one, and then at the very edge of that platform, we're going to jump to the next one. And then we're going to wait and do a time jump, jump onto that one, and then we're going to wait for this to appear, and then we're going to jump onto that, and then we're going to go. So we got to do the first 
one, two, three jumps very fast and as soon as it appears. Okay, so one, two, three, and then two, three, and you have to time that jump and you have to keep an eye out in the distance for when it falls away so that you can start timing it right then. And jump. Okay. I jumped a little too early there and glitched out. So, chipmunk mode! Activate! Yay, I'm a chipmunk! Okay, so we gotta go here. We gotta jump quickly, quickly. And we weren't quick enough. It's okay, we're in chipmunk mode. We fell off. Chipmunk mode! I can't stress it enough how much time this is saving you right now. Watching this video in chipmunk mode. Okay, so we gotta wait for this platform to appear. We gotta wait for the platform to appear. Then we jump, then we jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Jump. One, two, three, jump. I was too slow! One, two, three, jump. 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 Okay, we are almost back to the top. And I can almost quit chipmunk mode. Okay, we're quitting chipmunk mode now. Okay, I'm back at, at the top. And we're gonna try this once more. Okay. So one, two, three, jump. See, I started timing it not once I got to the platform, but once I saw the platform that I was going to have to jump to next, this one. Once I saw it disappear, I counted to three so that I would have the jump on time. Okay, so then we've just got to go and pick up this book. And congratulations, you have picked up book three. Book three, in my opinion, is the hardest part of this whole quest, and we're going to do that in the next episode. So, uh, good luck to you on this part. I hope some of the tips that I gave helped, uh, and we did parts one and two this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.